This is probably the craziest and most bizarre cases that I've ever heard of. You guys won't want to miss it, so stick around. What's up guys, my name is Harmon, and today's episode is in a little town called Ogden, Iowa, where all of the family members are buried is in a town about 15 miles north called Pilot Mound. So 33 year old Ray Platter and his wife, Lena, who is 31, had three children. Their names were Dwayne, who was 14, Joyce, who was 12, and Kenneth, uh, who was 10. Ray Platter and his wife, Lena, decided to make a suicide pact. And they decided to commit suicide. And also, before they did that, kill their children, their three children, and then commit suicide basically together. So the date of the murders was April 14th, 1939. And you might be wondering like, what on earth, why? I had the same question. Like why, why would you, first of all, why would you kill yourself? But then why would you kill your three children as well? There was a newspaper article that came out right after it happened. And uh, it, uh, it gives some quotes from from Ray Platter and Lena Platter's suicide notes. And it says kind of like why they did what they did. So I'm gonna kind of just read exactly what the quote says. It says that, this is Ray speaking. He said, I'm gonna do the hardest thing I ever tried to do. I have thought of every other way, but it seems that I have no choice. He says, they drove me to it. I am nearly insane and I'm going now before I get even crazier. According to Ray, it sounds like he thought he was insane. And he must have had some sort of mental illness of some kind. Uh, mind you, he was 33 at the time. He, he says, uh, my wife, my dearest wife, she does not want to stay behind. She wants to be with me. She wants to be laid away um, by my side so that way we can go together. He says, as we are both going to die, we do not want to leave our children behind, so we're going to take them with us too. He says they are young and innocent and don't know sin. We can't leave them in the world alone. Sounds like it was basically all Ray's idea. He obviously said he thought he was insane or going insane and so he wanted to kill himself. His wife, it sounds like she wasn't necessarily suicidal, but she didn't want to live in this world without him and so she kind of joined in on on his suicide and that's why they kind of made their own suicide pact it's probably the most saddening thing i've ever heard um honestly but anyway so that's basically the story that's that's why ray and lena platter decided to kill themselves and of course their children it sounds like the platters were were pretty well off. They kind of uh, co-owned a like a poultry business with one of their neighbors in town, and so it sounds like um, they were doing pretty well, like financially. And so it sounds like that had nothing really to do with it. it says they just purchased a, a gas range stove, which back in 1939 I think was a pretty good luxury. The way that their bodies were found was that several neighbors nearby saw like a light in the house flickering. Kind of returned later on around midnight and they saw that the same light was still flickering. One of the Platter's nieces, Marie Platter, she noticed the same light was burning. And so she went with one of her friends named Joe Mathers and they together went to the house to kind of figure out what was going on. Through the window, they could see one of the kids laying down, obviously dead. And so at that point, they called the local marshal and he went in and discovered all five bodies. So when they went inside, they found Ray Platter with the gun still in his hand, but apparently it was kind of at a weird angle. And so at first they thought maybe someone set, set it up and maybe someone killed all five of them instead. After they did some analysis, they figured out that no, it was in fact some sort of either murder suicide or or something like that and then they finally found the suicide notes and so after that they put it together and they realized that both Ray and Lena killed themselves on purpose and of course killed their three children on purpose this is like one of the few stories where like a husband and a wife have made a suicide pact and killed themselves and their children I've never ever heard of any other story like this I'm sure there are some but 
again, it was such a very bizarre and weird story that I was like, I have to come check this out and show you guys. Ray Platter apparently served in the US Navy as a firefighter. I don't know how many years or how long he served. Now, the one of the main things that I find really interesting is the fact that, as you just noticed, that Ray Platter's, his gravestone is way, way nicer and way bigger than his wife's or his children's. I think it's because he served. And so because of that, whoever his surviving family members were, they really gave him a nice gravestone compared to his family's. And I don't know, I mean, I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know, let me know what you guys think. So after a lot of searching, I think I found the house. Got in touch with the librarian in town and she gave me directions to where she thought it was. And so I think I found it. It's right behind me. Um, they said it had a three car garage. I found some more information about exactly how Ray killed himself and his family. So I'll give you guys some more details on, on exactly what happened. But after a lot of searching, uh, that is the house crazy isn't it I was reading more of the article this is like the newspaper of the day it happened and the article says that Ray took his rifle shot and killed 14 year old Dwayne and 12 year old Joyce in their beds and he killed 10 year old Kenneth in the living room and then he and his wife Lena went back upstairs into their bedroom and he shot Lena through the heart and then pointed the gun to his head and killed himself. So originally I thought that Lena must have killed herself as she, you know, kind of joined the suicide pact, but I guess she let Ray, her husband, um, kill her as part of the suicide, if that makes sense. So she didn't kill herself, but she wanted to, uh, so she just had Ray kill her instead. But man, what a very bizarre and, and of course sad story. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're new around here, make sure you hit that little subscribe button. That way uh, you can get notified any videos I put out if you enjoy this kind of content. Anyway, my name is Harmon. I appreciate you all watching and I'll see you on the next adventure. See you later. <laughs>